This is the brief on construction theories for the Great Pyramids. We're diving into the ongoing debate over how exactly the ancient Egyptians engineered these monumental structures, contrasting traditional findings with some of the most fascinating and controversial alternative theories. First, let's talk about ramps. Archaeological evidence confirms the Egyptians used huge ramp systems to move the blocks. We've even found a 4,500-year-old one. But architect Jean-Pierre Houdin suggests Khufu's Great Pyramid was built using an internal corkscrewing ramp that might still be inside. They also had specialized tools, like a basalt proto-pulley, that made hauling all those heavy blocks much easier. Second, there are some wild alternative ideas about materials and power. One theory, the limestone concrete hypothesis, says the blocks aren't carved stone at all, but a man-made concrete molded in place. Some researchers actually back this up, pointing to odd air bubbles in the stone. Then for the older Jazer Step Pyramid, one model suggests the builders used hydraulic engineering, basically a water-powered elevator to hoist the stones. Finally, you know we have to touch on the ancient alien theories. Proponents suggest extraterrestrials or a lost civilization gave them a hand. But academics are clear, this is pseudo-archaeology and it's unscientific. A major criticism is that these theories often have racist undertones, diminishing the incredible accomplishments of indigenous cultures by suggesting they couldn't have done it alone. Whether it was simple ramps, poured concrete, or clever use of water power, the true genius behind these monumental wonders belongs to the ancient Egyptian builders themselves.